Hi guys, welcome back to All Dolled Up. We went to clicks and Discam during the course of the week and I exercised a lot more strength than Julia did. She literally has a sickness. <laughs> um, so we wanted to talk you through all the things that we bought. Um, we're going to try and make it quite quick because Julia literally has 35 million products. Um, so I think you should start us off. Oh, was I start? I mean, go. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go really quickly. So if you have questions, put them in the... And for what's it called? Comments. Um, okay, went to Edgar's and I picked up these brushes which were recommended by my friend Jess. Thanks Jess. Um, they buy a brand called Boutique and they're very cheap. I think this one was like 70 Rand and this one was a little bit cheaper. Um, fan brush for highlighter. This is a, like, a crease brush. I wanted to see if it was if compared to the MAC 217. And then an angled brush which is for contouring or for blush. Um, and then also from Edgar's I picked up this um, Gosh blush which is called Flower Power. Um, I've got it on today. It's a very nice, natural, pinky, ever so slightly peachy blush. And I saw this recommended by a blogger called Tati from Glam Life Guru. Um, she's got a YouTube channel and she uses this a lot. So I thought that was really cool. So I thought I would go and have a look at it. And I've never tried any Gosh products before. So that's why I went and tried it. And I also picked up the Gosh um, Mineral Waterproof Eyeshadow Stick, which is in Golden Brown. I've also got this on today um, and it's, I've been looking for a nice eyeshadow stick and I wasn't very impressed with the colour selection at Rimmel and the colour selection of the Gosh ones is really really wearable. Lots of shades of khaki and grey and silver and purple and brown um, and the consistency is lovely. I swatched them on my hand and I couldn't even get them off with um, a tissue later that day uh, so I reckon they're going to be quite long wearing. It's my first time wearing them on my, eye, on my eyelids today so We'll see how it goes, but it's smooth and blendable. It's really nice quality, and also, I think around the hundred rand mark. Not bad, not um, nice. too expensive. So I'm quite happy with those two products. Um, what else? Oh, went a little bit face mask crazy. Um, bought three of them. Um, I've never used Freeman masks before. Let's see what happens. Crazy. Uh, Camilla's very judgmental of Freeman because they have bright packaging. No, it's because they're disgusting. Looking. How do you even know though? I'm sure my granny used to use Freeman products. Yeah, I think it is a little like the packaging is a little bit young, I suppose. Maybe it's only because like, if like I put that on looking. my face, they would, it would just... Yeah, but I haven't got very sensitive skin, so I'm going to give them a try. Because it'd be nice to try and find some masks that don't cost an arm and a leg and do a similar job to like maybe the red ones or the origin ones that we use. So this is the facial enzyme mask with pineapple, which is an exfoliating one, I'd imagine in the same vein as the Ren Glycolactic Radiance Renewal. Mm -hmm. um, similar to the Origins Clear Improvement Mask, or at least I hope so, is the facial clay mask with avocado and oatmeal. And then this one I quite enjoyed the sound of. I like the idea of peel-off mask, it sounds fun. Um, never used them before, but this is the facial peel-off mask with cucumber. So I'm going to give those a try and see and hopefully I don't ruin my face for life, but um, I have high hopes and I'm going to be open-minded just because the packaging like is me. scary. Not like I'm not going to be judgmental. Um, what else? I needed a new one of these buffy things for my nails, so I got one. This is an elegant touch one, also from this game. Um, ooh, then another recommendation by Jess was to go and try the Catrice products, which I'd never tried before. I don't really know why. I suppose I didn't really know much about the brand. Um, and she recommended them. So I went to go and have a look at the stand and I picked up two things. This is the Catrice Made to Stay Long Lasting Eyeshadow in the number 70. And it is kind of a purpley taupe cream eyeshadow. Yeah, pretty it's yeah. So And I also swatched this in the store. It seemed very long lasting. Again, I couldn't get it off for the tissue. So um, I haven't tried it yet, but I will. This I have got on. It is the Catrice Eyebrow Filler Perfecting and Shaping Gel. Oh, wow. It's very subtle. Um, it's got a color. No, yeah, it's a it's a colored um, eyebrow gel, and it's got little fibers in it. So it's very good for people like me who have very fair eyebrows and need um, not only help defining them but also filling them out. So it's quite hard for me to use because my eyebrows are so fine that I have to be very very gentle putting it on. Otherwise, it just sort of smears all over the skin um, under my eyebrows. But um, I reckon people with slightly bigger eyebrows that are maybe fairer. Uh, that would be really, really good. And I, I, I mean, I was very happy using it this morning. It, it worked quite well for me, albeit very subtly. Did it's, you put it, do you have a pencil on as well? Yeah, just this? then I put, put that over. Oh, okay. But it like, helps to color the actual brow as oh. opposed to pencil, which technically is coloring in your skin. So that's, awesome. that's quite cool. Um, I picked up um, a Batiste because I always like to have a spare one and I just ran out, so got one of those. Uh, and then I got a new... Top coats, um, I really rate Sally Hansen top coats. I used to use the Insta Dry, but to be honest, I don't find it particularly 
quick drying um, and I'd seen this recommended and I really like the idea of a nice high shine one so this is the mega shine top coat I've got it on today you probably can't tell but it is very shiny it shiny is super shiny yeah. um, and it says keep, mani keep manicures beautiful up to 10 days Speaking of quick drying, I picked up the Essence Express Dry Spray because I was so impressed with the quick dry drops I thought I would try this and I saw it on the stand and it's like when you go and have a manicure and they spray your hands at the end and they're like ever so slightly oily but it really dries the polish quickly I thought I'd give that a try, I haven't done it yet but I'm looking forward to um, and then two other nail related products I saw these new from Revlon, they're called the Revlon Nail Art 3D Dual Appliques and the range is called Wildflowers they are really, really pretty. Um, they are nail wraps, so you basically stick them onto your nails and so it's not paint. Um, and they have got beautiful little spring floral patterns with the kind of, this one's got little sparkly diamantes on it. I mean, that, I know that sounds terrible, but it, it's quite subtle. Look, it's sweet. No, it's, yeah, it's not. Nice. And this one's also got a kind of shimmer in it. This one is called Bouquet, like B-O-W-K. And this one's called Hyper Floral. So I'm looking forward to trying those. I think they're really pretty. Just nice for spring and something a bit different. Um, hmm, oh, this. Do you want to talk about yours as well? Um, I can do, yeah. Revlon uh, have brought out their new summer range of the lip butters. And as you know, I'm a huge fan of Revlon lip butters. This mm -hmm. is Wild Watermelon, Watermelon, which I got on today. What have you got? I've got Juicy Papaya. This isn't a new one, though, I don't think. No, it is. is it? Yeah, yeah, it's new. Oh. Yeah. They've had the same range for two years here, which mm. drive me nuts. Because this summer range was brought out in the UK probably eight or nine months ago. Um, so I've been waiting to get my hands on this and I really like it. It's kind of like a sheer pinky red. Um, and you, that's this quite is a more good of a, new like a, yeah, It's more of like a, I don't know, it's, kind of, it's quite peachy. I really, really like it. I've been wearing it, I'm not wearing it today, but I've been wearing it the past couple of days and everyone has commented that it looks beautiful on. Because so you've never tried the lip butters before. I've never, and I was always a bit, kind of, I was a bit of a snob about it. I, I'm sorry. I sent you. <laughs> I'm never going to use that though, <laughs> ever. Um, this I'm really, really pleased I bought because um, they are so hydrating. They are, they are so comfortable to wear. And they are really glossy and oh, love. So yeah. I'm going to be a big lip butter fan from now on. I'm going to go buy a few more of those. Uh, and then, what else did I get? Uh, this is going to be so random. Why am I showing cotton pads? These are big oval cotton pads. Um, the reason I wanted to show them is because I don't think everyone knows they exist. I use the normal round ones for things like toner, but these are great for if you're taking off your makeup with Biodome or something like that. Um, because they're just bigger and it's easier to get all over your face quickly rather than mm. kind of have to use two or three of the small round ones. And these are clicks, they're really cool. And then quickly, quickly, last things, two hair care products. Tony and Guy Casual Sea Salt Texturizing Spray, which I saw recommended by Tori from Kiss Blush and Tell. And it is excellent. I might love it more than the Bumble and Bumble one. Really? So I'll do a review on that. But it is really, really good. And then this was a little bit of a um, kind of spur of the moment purchase. I've never used anything from the Fudge brand before. But this is the Texture Blaster Texture and Hold for Styles That Last. And it's basically a volumizing mist. So it's got this kind of strange Klaxon style um, spray on the top. But I haven't tried it yet, but I will. I'm looking forward to seeing if it's maybe a dupe for something like the dry sponge finish. Um, but yeah, I'll let you know how that goes. And that is mostly everything. You can rest now. Yeah. Okay. Um, I bought very few things, so this is going to be very quick. The first thing that I bought was the Nivea In Shower Body Moisturizer. And I've got the one for normal skin. I love it. I love it. I love it. I wrote about it. Um, you are so soft! Mm -hmm. um, it's great. The only thing I do wish that it had was a pump because when you're in the shower and you're wet and you're trying to open it and like... And also like I find if you put it on the one hand, let's say you're doing your leg, yeah. and then you have to put it into the other hand yeah. to do the other leg and then it starts sliding around. Sorry. And it would be great. Someone actually commented on the blog yesterday it should also have a suction pad on the back so you could stick it onto yeah. the wall. It's genius. Yeah. Um, but I really, really like it. I wasn't sure how it was going to work and so you, you apply it onto wet skin, you rub it all over your body and you rinse it off straight away. You don't have to leave it on. Um, and it leaves you with like a bit of a film over your skin and then you patch yourself dry and you're done and I feel moisturized throughout the day which is great and someone asked us how it differs from the um, Lush Rose Argan body body conditioner which I haven't used but you've used so this, you have you ever smelled this before? Um, I think I've feast your nose oh <clears throat> that's strong no I know but it's delicious yeah it is delicious <laughs> feast your nose god it's like rose like super rose scented it mm. is very strong is it but it also like it, it because when you use it, it sort of hovers around your skin all day. I love the smell. Anyway, difference between this and that is this is obviously much more strongly fragranced. It's much richer 
it's also much more expensive. Yeah. And to be honest, it's a nice treat, like I would buy it for my mom for Christmas, mm. something like that. But for every day, I mean, I've had this for a long time, terrified of finishing it. Um, it's over 300 Rand, I think. Oh my time. god, see, this is this, I got this for 27 Rand. Yeah, so it's a promotional, usually it's 40, but I mean, 40 Rand still. For yeah, it's, it's um, and this is only 225 Rand, it's half the size of that. So, um, I really, really love this. I've got no complaints about this product at all, but if you need something for every day, definitely the Nivea. Next, on to more lip stuff because it's one of my three obsessions. This is another Kate Moss for Rimmel lipstick, and this is in the color 03, and actually, I was watching a Tanya Burr video yesterday. Oh, is that she, the one she was yes, using? Yes, it's exactly oh, no way. Right. I'm wearing it today. It's a lovely kind of, um, like a nudie color eye. It's really velvety, and it just it applies beautifully, and I like to pop on a bit of this Aquaphor, which I promptly went out and bought. <laughs> and I love, I love being it. an enabler. I know. Um, it's good, eh? It's so good. Mm. It's lovely, and you only need a teeny tiny bit of this, so I pop this on and then a bit of this just to give it a bit more shine because I'm super matte lipsticks don't usually look, look nice. Oh, is that a matte form? Yeah? It is, it is quite matte when I put it on, but yeah. maybe it's because my lips are just always dry. Aquaphor, great. I mean, maybe my favorite lip product. Yeah. Ooh. It might be, that's a big shout, but okay. I really, I love this. I can see this is always going to be yeah. with me. So that's all the lip stuff. Then I put a picture of this little guy up on our Facebook and Instagram accounts. It's the Essence little manicure helper. Um, Essence nail stuff is so good. It's so good. So it looks like this and how it works is you put your nail over it like this, okay? So the tip of your nail is over the plastic bit that juts out and then as you're painting your nails all the... it stabilizes the finger first of all so that you can paint really evenly and then because I'm quite an, a messy nail painter so when I come to the end of the stroke usually half the polish ends up on my fingertip and this avoids it and then you just swipe it clean with some acetone I mean, it was 24 rand. Stop it right now. <laughs> Basically free. I mean, then <clears throat> I just got um, another day cream, which is the Eucer and Hyaluron filler. I used the night cream version of this, which I love. Um, the reason I bought it was because the Nivea one that I've been using for forever and a day has now been discontinued. Sad face. Oh, is this different from the one you spoke about in your fav favorites? Yes, so this, is, the, nice this, is, the this day, is the day one. Oh, yeah, okay. lovely. So far, so good. I mean, I'm a huge fan of Eucerin products, so I would mm, highly, yeah. highly recommend. Eucerin's good. Then... Maybe really good sunscreen as well. Mm. Then, um, oh. after I was raving about the Rimmel Scandalize eye paint, which I adored, I thought, let me just try the pencil. Maybe it's, maybe it's good. It's not good, it's terrible. <laughs> Look, if I swatch it, the colour's beautiful. Sure. I mean, and it comes out really rich, but Smoothie. then you... Yeah, then you blend it, oh, even it's slightly. <gasps> even slightly. Oh, That's gone. That's so bad. I'm gone. And... Even when you use it with a primer, it's now it's now so it's into nothing. So maybe it's a good base color for other things, but no, on no. its own. Ain't nobody got time for that. Get the gosh one. one. Get the gosh Get this one. one. I thought it was going to be like constructivist, which I am wearing today, which is mm. fantastic, but that is just not good. Uh, the next thing I bought was this Nivea Q10 Firming Body Oil, um, which I actually bought before the um, the Nivea Inshell Body Moisturizer, and I've been using this for a while now. It wasn't in the haul that we did on Tuesday, but. Um, it's got avocado oil in it, and it smells delicious. It's nice, it's a little bit more subtle. Yeah. So, um, how I use it is I keep it in the shower, and then I pat myself very lightly with the towel afterwards, and then apply it on very kind of damp, almost wet skin. Because um, it has just, it has a lot of slip, and it just absorbs beautifully. It leaves a nice, nice glow. And light. Yeah, it leaves a nice glow on the skin, leaves you feeling super soft all day long. I've been very, very happy with this. Um, I would say it's the closest thing I've found as a dupe to the Mamma Mia Omega Body Oil, which I have so much love for. This yeah. is 100 Rand. Oh, is it really? Yeah. The, that's quite good. The Mamma Mia is 400 yeah. Rand. And that's 150 mils and this is 200 mils, so it's a uh, far more affordable option. Yeah. Um, and it's great. I'm a huge fan of Nivea products. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. Big, big fan. Really lovely body stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That's about it. Okay. So. We hope we've enabled you and you're going to go and buy lots of stuff. Um, and if you buy any of these things, let us know what you think. Mm. And yeah, we'll be back soon with a new video. Yeah. Bye. Bye.